What is going on guys? Kevin over at Leg Bros coming back for another video today. This one was $200, features 60 figures, and there's a couple things in here uh, that I would not normally have gotten, but then there was a couple things in here that I went, yes please. <laughs> Source.ebay.com slash Leg Bros, where you can find a lot of this stuff. We're also coming back on whatnot quite a bit more now, uh, hopefully anyway, so you know I've been saying that for a long time, but uh, I'm really trying to organize my life, and summer's coming up and the kids are getting out of school, so uh, I will have homeschooling time uh, freed up to myself instead of having to homeschool. So very, very, very safe shipping on this one. Uh, also, uh, speaking of whatnot, $10 off your first purchase if you've never purchased anything before from me using that link down below in the description. There's also some other fun links in there like uh, Athletic Greens is something I use on a daily basis and I swear by it uh, for energy and nutrition. Don't have to take any multivitamins, just have everything all at once just in one quick drink. I mix some apple juice in it because uh, it's, it's okay flavored, but uh, just a pinch of apple juice makes it actually a, a pretty delicious drink. <laughs> uh, and then I don't have to worry about taking any kind of supplements or anything. I'm just done for the day, uh, which is really, really cool. The gut health and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, enough of that. We're a Lego channel here. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a bunch of figures here that are really, really well kept, for sure. That's like the best shipping ever. Like, nothing's going to happen to those. I guess they could bounce around quite a bit uh, and maybe still get cracks and stuff. But let's start with this container since it's on top, and then we'll go to that container. There's some valuable things in there. I don't know if you already scoped them out. You're probably already just looking at them, and you're like, oh, I already know everything that's in there. Uh, but let's take a look. <laughs> let's take a look. Uh, here are some police officers. Some of these actually are a little bit valuable. Uh, I believe that one is Barbara Gordon, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I'll have to look that up. I haven't sold any of those before. I think that one might have some value as well. The CCPD, sometimes when people make like giant police forces, and these are actually pretty detailed police officers. So, uh, oops, selling stuff on eBay right there. Uh, so that's actually kind of cool. Uh, not, that's obviously not why I got the lot. Uh, one of my favorite figs there, the uh, Orca from the Lego Batman movie. We also have the Bunny. Uh, Calendar Man is this one here. We have the Zebra Man, I think, or something to that effect. Um, also the King Tut from the Lego movie. I think the whole series is here. I'll have to look at that because I think there was a series of them uh, and I think all of them might be present here and I might just keep that as a full series. I don't usually sell like the little uh, Lego movie figs or like series figs. I don't usually sell them like one at a time unless they're like super valuable. Uh, there is a valuable hair and headpiece. I can actually use that on a different Poison Ivy uh, instead of keeping it on the Arkham set. I think the Arkham set was in here as well. So we can see Poison Ivy, we have the awesome Two-Face there as well. I might just sell these as a pack, to be honest. Uh, just keep them all in their Arkham suits. That could be kind of a good good idea, too. We have Riddler, and then we have two of the Jokers, because I think Joker was also included in uh, the CMFs as well. I think one of them is the Arkham set, and then one of them is a CMF. Uh, but those are actually kind of cool. Uh, really cool headpieces, especially these two. Uh, they, they feature headpieces that are in uh, more valuable figures. So I'm assuming that those are actually relatively good in terms of value. Uh, we do have Kite Man here and uh, Eraser, which is just, they're just silly. Uh, this is, oh, I always forget this guy's name, Egghead or something. He's actually a, a pretty decent fig, uh, to be honest. We haven't been adding our ting piles. I'm just going to keep them in the, for once, we're not going to do a ting pile unless it's crazy. Uh, I'm just going to keep it in this because it's pretty organized. <laughs> It'll be a lot easier for me to go through this way uh, than just in a bin. So uh, monumental piece of history right now. <laughs> no, no tick file today. Uh, I'm trying to remember what that one was. It's like a uh, cat man or something like that. I think something to that effect has claws. Uh, never remember that one's name either. Is it like a, it's a bird or something like that, right? Like a uh, I don't remember. Uh, we have both Kabuki twins with their little claws right here. These are in great shape as well. So that's our first bin. We'll also have some bins to use for uh, accessories. So free bins. I'm not going to complain about bins because if you haven't noticed, bins are expensive. They're actually pretty darn expensive. It's kind of crazy. Uh, we do also have the uh, Scarecrow. That's a cool one. We have Harley Quinn with her little bat, the red and white bat, which is actually pretty decent. Uh, I have, I think I have pretty much every version of Harley Quinn uh, displayed, except for maybe the other one that's just in, or the uh, the Apocalypseburg one that's that's in the box uh, with Apocalypseburg. <laughs> it's staying there. We have Harley Quinzel with her little thing right there. This is Aaron Cash, I believe is his name. Finally looked that up. Now I'm getting a whole bunch of them. Uh, here's another Dr. Quinzel from the Arkham set, I believe is what that one's from. Uh, we have Batgirl, 
of course, have tons of those always. Uh, Dick Grayson, I think is what this one is, with his little shiny sparkly suit. The Zodiac, we have regular Batman, here is Robin. This one actually has gone up quite a bit, which is surprising. This is Condiment Man. Uh, I think that's what it, Captain Condiment, I think is his name, right? Uh, and he's actually, the silly ones of this have actually gone up quite a bit. It's kind of funny, actually. There's a couple, and we'll go through them, because I think pretty much everything is here. I'll have to look it up on BrickLink, uh, but I'm pretty sure that pretty much everything's here. Captain Condiment has actually gone up quite a bit in value. Not 100% sure where he is right now, but last time I looked, he was like, whoa, it surprised me. Uh, calculator Man right here. We have Red Hood. Uh, here is our Disco Batman with his little roller skates there. We have our Fighting Suit Batman. This is the, what is it, what is it called? Raging Batman or something like that. He's got his boxing gloves, which is pretty cool. Uh, we also have our Scuba Batman. This one is the other one. Unfortunately, it does not have the tile underneath. Uh, but this is the other one that's gone up like crazy. This guy can go upwards of $50 if you find the, the right condition, sell it to the right buyer, and he has his little uh, bottom platform. Kind of crazy. <laughs> kind of crazy how much this guy's gone up, um, but uh, that's that's just how it works. That's how market works. Everyone likes Polka Dot Man. Uh, we have Excalibur Batman here as well. This is such a weird haul because I don't usually like spend time on Batman figs. Uh, this is, I don't know what they call this one. Um, it's like a tuxedo Batman with a bunch of uh, lipstick on him. Here's Kiss Batman. That one's always fun. We have the Fairy Batman as well. Uh, Caveman Batman. We also have our like rubber ducky swim Batman right here. He's got his uh, flippers there too. Here's the other, this is the like the singer Batman. He's supposed to have a microphone, I think. And then here we're getting to the nitty gritty. This is the Wicked Witch of the West and most importantly, both flying monkeys. Those guys are 50 plus a piece right now. And that's gonna pay for uh, probably a little over half the haul. Uh, just those two figs, which is really cool. Two versions of Penguin. Here's the Arkham version, which might go with the other set. I'll have to look that up. And, oh, they don't fit with the hat. Uh, and then the uh, scarf version, that blue head version, which is actually pretty cool. We also do have, I think this is Pirate Batman is what they call this one. I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then we also have our Clown Batman. Kind of silly. Uh, and our suit, ze leopard, zebra suit. It's not zebra because it's like, I don't know. I don't know what they call these ones. <laughs> I don't focus on Batman CMFs nearly. I don't even focus on CMFs, let alone Batman CMFs. But I'm gonna have to look and see if we have whole collections here. I don't even remember how many collections they did of Batman CMFs. My dog just sat down right behind me, and uh, it's a great spot. I don't know if you guys have dogs, but they love being right behind me. Uh, behind me. Behind you when you're walking around. So they just sit right behind your legs so that you step on them every time. Yeah, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great idea so that you trip. Uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Lego Batman. I'm curious now. Batman CMFs. How many of them did they do? Uh, let's see. Series? Do we have to put series in there? How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? So they did do series one and series two. Okay, so two full series. So we're gonna have to look and see what we have, what we have to complete. I might have some completion pieces because a lot of them are missing uh, some of their accessories, which is unfortunate. If I was gonna sell a full set, I'd probably rather have them with their accessories, but it does look like a lot of them are here now that I look up the uh, the sets. I'm looking up on a computer, of course, so you guys can't see it. I probably should have done that on my phone. Um, series two is not present here. So it's all series one for sure. I don't see any of the series two figs uh, whatsoever. So uh, all series one and then a couple other sets like the flying monkey and those kind of things came from different sets, which is kind of cool. So uh, just a little Batman video for you guys. We got some free containers, which is always nice. Really good condition figs, which is what I always love. They're put together right. This will take zero time to list or go through. Uh, other than the fact that I'll look it up and try to sell it just as a complete set. Uh, anyways, love you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Comment below what your favorite one was. Of course, the flying monkeys are going to be mine. That's pretty easy. Polka Dot Mine's probably kind of cool too, but flying monkeys are really, really, really cool figs. <laughs> love you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.